President Muhammad Buhari continues to enjoy praise from the people of the Niger Delta, particularly the Niger Delta Activist Forum, who on 13 September 2021 in Abuja expressed the administration's courage and political will against all daunting odds to allow a forensic audit of the NDDC funds from inception. Owing to a hydra-headed corruption monster at the commission saddled with developing the region but had failed in that responsibility, rather allowing effective bureaucratic laws that empower corrupt practices and impunity to fester. The national president of the group, Comrade Success Jack, said, Having set the goals before Mr. President, we got an assurance from him which is a result to probe NDDC even when we were the lone voice until reluctantly the governors decided to join the choir. It is important to state that at that time we were lone voices chanting this unsavory and impossible ballad. It was much later that some governors of the region decided to join the choir. We are happy today that eventually the probe has been brought to an end. We salute President Muhammad Buhari for mustering the courage and political will against daunting odds and challenges to pull it off. We also want to say a big thank you to the Attorney General of the Federation and Minister of Justice for providing legal guidance and all the backstage efforts to make sure the process was not truncated. This much we know because of our involvement. We are happy for a successful probe. It is now time for us to open a new chapter in the story of a journey towards developing our region under democratic settings. We thus make the following demands. That the federal government should make a full disclosure of details of the findings of the forensic audit. The process was powered with taxpayers' money. And under this era of freedom of, of information law, Niger Deltans and indeed Nigerians have the right to know. That the board of the Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC, be constituted immediately. The audit has been the excuse given by given for the seeming endless delay in constituting this board. It is our hope that the necessary legal proceedings will be activated to implement consequences on indicted offenders to the extent of their offenses in the coming days. We believe that the restoration of sanity and order will be given a great boost when sinners and saints are medicated according to prescriptions of the law. The restoration of sanity and order will be given a great boost when sinners and saints are medicated according to the prescription of the law. If our brothers from the south could be weaker to their brothers in the south, what is wrong is wrong, and the law should take its full course. Anybody that is guilty is guilty, and anybody that is not guilty is not guilty. We are not going to run media trial, but we are only saying that what are entitled should be entitled. What I inherit in that forensic report should be made public. And you may be very shocked to understand that our brothers from the south are innocent. But we will not judge until the report is made known. Mohammed Jinnah, the voice TV Nigeria.